Hi, welcome to today's tutorial on NetApp Snap Mirroring. What we want to demo to you is a live Snap Mirror QTree to QTree setup. And what we have here is Filer 1 is our source filer and Filer 2 is our destination filer. So during the tutorial we'll be switching between Filer 1 and Filer 2 uh, to enter in certain commands. So for now what I'd like to just say is if you head over to my website www.sysadmintutorials.com uh, click on tutorials, head down to NetApp and go to the Snap Mirror configuration um, just follow that configuration first on how to set up the correct access uh, and make sure the options are on and all that. I'm going to skip that section in this video so we can jump straight into it. So what I'm just going to show you here is on my source filer the volume that we're going to be concentrating on is volume 2 and if we have a look at the Qtree status you can see in volume 2 I've got a Qtree called Qtree-Servers so that's the one where that we're going to be replicating across to our destination so with that said let's jump onto our destination file and on the destination file let's just have a look at the volume status here and we only have one volume, vol0, and if we just have a look at the size of vol0, we can see it's only using 18%. Uh, in the queue tree that we're going to be replicating, there is nothing in it. Uh, it's just a blank queue tree, um, but I'm just keeping it blank for demonstration purposes and to get the replication happening as fast as possible as I am doing this on my home computer lab. So let's uh, enter in the command to get the relationship up and running. So what we're going to do is we're going to enter in snap mirror space initialize minus capital S filer one colon slash vol slash vol two slash q tree dash servers and now the destination filer filer two colon slash vol slash vol zero slash q tree dash servers. The Qtree on the destination can be a separate name if you like, but for simplicity's sake I'd like to keep it the same name. So with that I'm going to press enter. And my command was accepted successfully. You can see that the transfer has started. Now to monitor my snap mirror relationship I can just type in snap mirror space status and as you can see the state is snap mirrored and idle because it was blank it happened quite fast but if you do have quite a large amount of data in the queue tree uh, you will actually see the state as uninitialized and you will also see the amount of data that's been transferred at the time that you type in snap mirror status so we successfully have a snap mirror relationship now a couple of things that I want to show you oh, first of all if we jump back onto the source filer. You can also go here snap mirror status and you'll see that the state is source. So you'll find with snap mirroring most of the commands are done on the destination filer. So let's just jump back onto destination filer and there's a few commands that we can do here. So for example we want to pause our relationship because we're doing link maintenance or, or for whatever reason. To do that we type in snap mirror quiz followed by the destination path which is vol vol0 slash qtree servers okay so it's been successfully quizzed if we type snap mirror status we'll see the state as quizzed so because the state is quizzed it means that it's kind of paused um, there's no traffic going across the link so once everything's back to normal again, we can resume it. To resume, we type in snap mirror, resume, followed by destination path. And it's successfully resumed. If we do snap mirror status again, we'll see that the state is back to snap mirrored. Now one thing that I want to point out is if we do Qtree status you'll see that my Qtree, Qtree-servers is snap mirrored. 
Now, this means that the queue tree is in a read-only state. It cannot be written to. Um, the only way that we can read to this queue tree is if we break the mirror. So basically, it breaks the relationship between the source and destination and makes the queue tree read-write. So let's show you how that's done. What I want to do is type in snap mirror queers because you can't break a snap mirror relationship unless you queers it first. So we're going to do the destination volume, sorry, destination queue tree. And let's just check the status again. The state is queerced. Okay, so we do snap mirror break and destination. And as you can see, it tells you the queue tree dash servers is now writable. And if we go queue tree status, you can see that the status is normal. And if we do snap mirror status, you can see that the state is broken off. So here you can do what you like with the with the queue tree. And say for some instance that you want to re-establish the relationship again, what we can type in is snap mirror resync minus capital S we have to put in the full path filer1 which is the source slash fold slash fold2 slash qtree dash servers and the destination filer2 colon slash fold slash fold0 slash qtree dash servers and let's press enter so what it's going to do is resync the base snapshot, and um, I'm going to type yes because I want to confirm. So any changes that you've made to the queue tree since it's been broken off will be lost when we do the resync, as the resync will resync back to the base snapshot. So now that the resync successfully completed, let's do snap mirror status again, and the state is back to snap mirrored. So the last thing that I want to show you today is how to schedule a snap mirror relationship. So say that I want to schedule the snap mirror relationship to replicate every five minutes. As you can see in the bottom left hand corner, uh, you've got a, at the moment a 34 second idle. And if I do snap mirror status again, you'll see now it's a one minute and six second idle. So that means that there hasn't been any replication for one minute and six seconds. Now to set up a schedule, so that the replication happens every five minutes, uh, what we need to do is we need to edit the file in the etc directory called snapmirror.conf. I've already edited this file, so what I want to do is just read it so I can show you what it looks like. So what we've got is the source filer with the volume and queue tree going to the destination filer, and we're replicating it every five minutes on, of the hour. So we're replicating it at, at 0, 5, 10, 15, 20, and so on. Um, all the way through and at the next hour we'll re repeat and do it same thing again. So with that if I do snap mirror status you can see that it's on idle. I've just put put this in now so the idle is at 13 minutes 59 so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pause the video and just wait for the schedule to kick in and then I'll be doing a snap mirror status again so I can show you that the idle will be always less than five minutes. So I'll just pause the video now. Okay, I've just done a snap mirror status and as you can see it's transferring now because the schedule has kicked in. And if I go snap mirror status again, okay, so now it's on idle, it's finished transferring and you can see the lag time is now at uh, 17 seconds. So that lag time shouldn't go any more than, than 5 minutes. Um, if it does then you've probably got some link saturation and you've got a large amount of data going across. But because uh, this is just a blank queue tree, uh, the lag will never ever go over five minutes. So that concludes the tutorial for today. I hope you enjoyed it and uh, be sure to head over to www.sysadmintutorials.com for many more wonderful tutorials.